Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do the monorail in Fallout New Vegas. This is going to be the monorail jump, monorail skip. It's a pretty commonly used uh, method of getting to the strip early and quickly. This is mainly used in the glitchless and single segment runs, glitchless slash single segment runs, but you could use them in any run. Mainly used in glitchless though, like I said, it's pretty quick. If you don't do it already, this will definitely shave a few seconds off your times. And it can be a little tricky to learn. It is a little bit inconsistent, but once you know how to do it, uh, it's going to be a great tool for you in your speedruns. Um, so I'm going to give a quick demonstration of, of what it looks like, and then I'll break it down. There's three major steps to doing it, um, so we'll break it down in a sec. And if you're wondering where I'm starting from, this is kind of just like an arbitrary save point I made. In a real run, you'll probably be rounding this corner, coming through this way, stop hopping up to the corner of Camp McCarran here. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, not my best work, 24 seconds. Um, you can get it down a little bit quicker than that. And I've had 22, um, 21 before. So you saw I got stuck on the monorail when I was jumping up it uh, right on this portion here. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Mostly though, it's not gonna be a huge time loss. Um, but once you get it perfectly, um, you're gonna be saving a lot of time. So um, let's break it down. So the first thing you're gonna have to learn how to do is placing the armor. So you should have the lightweight metal armor in your inventory. Uh, that was given to you from the DLC that you have added. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to here. You're gonna drop it from your inventory onto this concrete slab. You're gonna jump up onto it and then jump up onto an invisible plane here. Um, I'll show you what the plane looks like at the end, but you're gonna jump up onto the armor, turn, and then jump up onto the plane. And that'll allow you access to get onto this, this steel beam here and then get onto the monorail. So uh, what you're gonna do is, there's a couple, there's different ways you could do it. My trick is to make it consistent is what I do is I'll come up on the side here of this thing and I'll just kind of come up perpendicular and I'll be right here in the middle of like this brick. Um, right from the edge, you can see like this little line here. Um, I'll just kind of put my cursor right in the middle of it there and then I will hit S real quick to back up just a, just a little bit. And that will kind of give me the perfect placement of the armor. If you're too close, it might get stuck in the wall or it might spit out to the side and it might make it difficult to jump from there onto the platform. But I find that this works pretty well. You could come up from the side, which might save a little bit of time because you don't have to come up here, align yourself back up. But I find that this is the most consistent that I found. It's something I'm, it's, it's what I'm most comfortable with. So you can just kind of mess around and find out what you're comfortable with. But if you come up here, back up a little bit, go into your inventory, get rid of this little notification. You might have to spam E so you close it as soon as you can. Uh, bring your cursor up to lightweight metal armor and right click it and drop it and it should fall right into place um, This is pretty much perfect um, So then once it's dropped you're gonna hold W and then spam jump and you're gonna jump up onto it And as soon as you get onto the armor, you'll kind of feel yourself pop up onto it You're gonna turn left keep jumping keep holding W and you'll be on the plane. So it looks like this Oh, so in this case it kind of kind of got a little weird on me. So let me do it again that does happen sometimes, um, but there we are. So we've jumped up onto the plane, and you may have noticed too, if you look at my, my key my key log down at the bottom right, is that my right mouse button is also jump. That's because you don't really need that for anything else. So if you can go, you can go into the settings here, go to your mouse settings and change jump to mouse too. I find it especially helpful in this portion because now, once we're up here, we're gonna get onto this beam and we're gonna be spamming jump and we're gonna jump up onto this this thing here. Um, so this is probably the trickiest part, definitely the most inconsistent. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up onto the beam right after this little weird looking thing and jump up right onto it there. And you're gonna look kind of at like a diagonal angle and you're gonna be holding W the whole time, you're gonna be spamming jump the whole time. And you're gonna be doing that up until, if you see like this little, little, Thing that's sticking out here there's gonna be another one 
right around there. Right before you get there, uh, you're going to be spamming jump, looking diagonally, and once you get to that point, you're going to be turning into the monorail and jumping still, and that'll allow you to kind of get up onto the top portion of the beam here. Um, and the main thing is you want to jump right before you get to it. You'll kind of see yourself jump up a little bit extra. That's how you know you're, you're kind of in the clear and that you're going to make it on top of that. If you don't, if you try to do it earlier, you're not going to be up at a high enough height to get onto it. So I found that that's kind of the perfect balance, but it can be a little bit tricky. And as far as like the angle goes, if you look at the bottom left where the directional, uh, the cardinal directions are there, I usually look right in between the center of east and southeast and this first blip here. I kind of look around just in this general area. You don't want to be too close because then you're going to lose more time and you don't want to be too far away because then you're going to fall off. Um, so once you're up here, you're going to jump up here, spamming the jump buttons, and you're going to want to land right before that thing sticking out and you're going to spam jump and slowly turn and look and then you're going to be at the monorail part and you're going to jump up to it so you once you feel yourself pop up onto the monorail that's what's important depending on how good of a jump you get right here it might be early it might be a little bit late sometimes you might not pop up onto this top part until right before you get to the train um, but as long as you can get up on top, that's what matters. If you don't, you might have to jump off and try it again, and, and that's going to obviously be a little bit of a time loss. Um, so once you're up onto this part, the next thing is to jump up the monorail itself. And to do that, just make sure you're aligned in the center. You don't want to be too far right or left. It's kind of like a balance beam. If you're too far right or left, you're going to fall off. So once you're in the center here, and right before you touch the monorail, you're going to jump into it and then just kind of spam jump up the train here and you might get stuck along the way it is it's pretty high chance but most of the time if you just go to the left a little bit you can jump up the side as well so let me give a couple demonstrations here so we're gonna we're walking up to it right before we're gonna jump spam jump and that one worked pretty well we got right up really quick um, sometimes let's see if I can recreate it here sometimes you might get stuck depending on the angle that you that you jump into the the monorail at so right here I got stuck, but I know that I can just move left a little bit and go up it. Sometimes you will get stuck to such a point that you can't even move left. And at that point, you just have to fall back onto the beam and try again, um, which is a bit of a time loss as well. But once you get this down, um, it should be good to go. And then once you're up top, you're just going to stop, hop your way and go onto the take monorail strip. And what I usually do is I'll kind of jump i'll do like a stop hop down here and i'll i'll hit the e on here kind of as i'm falling i find that to be the most efficient you could also just walk along the top of the of the train part here and just hit e um, when you get to the door but either way works and that's pretty much the whole thing um, i think the biggest difficulty is definitely going to be finding that balance um, on step two here when you're on this kind of beam it can be tricky it's kind of a pain in the butt um, and sometimes I'll do, like I said, I'll turn into it early. And I think even like right there, sometimes you can get up really early. Nope. So this, in this example, I didn't get up high enough. I didn't go far enough up the beam. So right now I'm stuck. I can't jump up it. There's nothing I can do except fall back down and retry. Um, that's definitely going to be the trickiest part. Um, but once you get used to it and you, you get some practice in, you'll find a sweet spot. You could also, too, if you're, if you're just kind of starting out, you don't have to do it that early. You can go up even further. And that way, you have more time and more height to get onto it, and it makes it a little bit easier. I find, like I said, right before, um, right before this little thing sticking out, that's where I find is the earliest, most consistent spot to get up here. Sometimes you might shoot right up though, and now that's kind of just like a like a blessing there because if you do that, you might get on here real early, save some time. Um, but once you're up here, um, I don't really recommend stop hopping um, only once really because you might just fall off if you do get up a little bit later on the thing here. Um, but once you're here, jump up this, go to the side, stop hop your way. Um, I'll show you what I do in the camp, or not the camp, but the, their little base here. I hold A to move left as soon as I can, start stop hopping, open the door, and then this part here is a little bit tricky. This guy, he's going to try and talk to you, and there's really no avoiding it, except a couple different ways. You could either 
punch your way through. If you're punching, then he won't talk to you. Or if you land on the ground right before him, you'll do a little stagger animation and he won't talk to you. Um, so this is a perfect opportunity to get your stop off timing nice. Also, if you hang out here too long, they're going to try and kill you. Um, so let me just go back here and try that again. So we're going to jump up here. Go to the go to the strip. And we're going to stop hop through the door. If we can open the door, stop hop. And we're going to stop hop all the way down the stairs. Land here. Wait a sec. Stop hop again. And he's going to just follow you until the end of time. But if you can land right there and get that stagger animation, then that's definitely going to improve your times a little bit there. It's a little bit quicker than punching. Um, and that's pretty much everything I have on here. That's all my thoughts. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I'm going to show you what that plane looks like right now. So whoop. here's what it looks like. The white bit, that's the plane. And you can't jump up just, you just barely can't get up there. So that's where the armor comes in. Um, and you obviously don't want to place it too far over because then you're going to be underneath the plane. So that's why our, this little bit comes in handy. Um, so once you're here, place your armor. Um, you can jump up and onto the plane. Um, and the command I did to do that, you just open the console window, window and you type in TCG. And that will show you this plane. So that is a little bit helpful. You can see some of the geometry on the monorail too, but it's all it's all wonky. Um, but that's pretty much how to do the monorail. Um, it's a great little trick. It is weird. It is inconsistent. It will take a little bit of practice. Usually, I practice it a couple times before I start my runs for the day, just so I have some a little bit more experience for that day behind my belt. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, take care and good luck.